While much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff, no such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Here's Elijah Moore now bringing it out of his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Wilson. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They go play action now. Wilson steps away. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. They'll run on first down. It's Logan. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. This is Logan. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. He could muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. This is Bowden, and he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Logan. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Play action. It's Wilson. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Wilson. 
Well, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a creep. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Dante Fowler make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. So Tua making the completion there. You know, what's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part. He rifles one that's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. <laughs> on the return, Lynn Bowden. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped, so let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, Think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get Scouter up front. And as a GM that always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Two are going to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. John Franklin Myers in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So on fourth down, the Dolphins' new punter for 2021, Michael Pilardi, on to punt. Standing just outside his own goal line. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Six yards left on second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Logan. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. 
A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 30. There's Wilson to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Logan. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the room. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, these two division rivals, the schedule maker gave them a couple of second-half meetings this year. They met for the first time back in week 11, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Logan. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now it's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. To throw again is Wilson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Tua, a final shot before half. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. This taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now it's Crowder. A solid 12-yard return after the 55-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. On first down, it's Logan. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works, but he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. Bowden now to return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Now Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great community. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. John Franklin Myers able to record his fifth sack of the season. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Miami. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On third down, Wilson. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's the Jets punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and ten. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second and five. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. It's complete to Fuller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Play action. Now it's Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this is caught inside the five. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I'm telling you, nothing will line up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and that throw, my goodness, and even 70 yards through the air. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll run it here with Logan. He'll have a first down past the 40. And down right around the 37. It's a big play that time by the Jets. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. They run with Logan. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Steps away to his left. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, 
They needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now as a defensive oh, coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. 149 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. On the carry, it's Logan. And it fights through one man. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to face a third down. Wilson. Forced out to his left. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could he? And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. T.J. Logan with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Jets look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. to seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return from Bowden. This will come out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. On play action, here's Tua. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He's got to complete to Waddle. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Here's Tua. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? 
got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. They, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Tua. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Tua. Being chased out left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts so in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. First and goal is a minute. It's caught. He's got it. They knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touch. A little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce for his chance. I think they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. When a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover. The coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you will. Bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And his kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what